Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got an update on the Dream Chaser by Sierra Space, that super adorable space plane that I made a video about like a year ago. When I last left off, it was due to launch at the end of 2024, but first it had to go through some tests in order to be certified to fly NASA resupply missions. But uh, as you may have gathered from the lack of headlines about a Dream Chaser launch, that didn't happen. And it was recently announced that NASA's contract with Sierra Space has been modified. So... So for today's video, I'm going to give you guys an update on everyone's favorite space plane, what this modified contract actually means, and will Dream Chaser ever fly? So on September 25th, 2025, NASA announced that their contract with Sierra Space regarding Dream Chaser has been modified. The statement read, After a thorough evaluation, NASA and Sierra Space have mutually agreed to modify the contract, as the company determined Dream Chaser development is best served by a free flight demonstration, targeted in late 2026. And this is quite a bit different than NASA's original intention with Dream Chaser. Now, back in the day, NASA's space shuttles played a huge part in building the ISS and keeping it operational for its first decade. These space plane-looking spacecraft took astronauts to and from the orbiting outpost until the fleet was fully retired in 2011. In 2016, five years later, NASA opened up the door to more space plane meetups, signing a cargo deal with Sierra Space, the Colorado-based company who built Dream Chaser, worth up to $14 billion. That 2016 contract awarded Sierra Space a minimum of seven ISS resupply flights with Dream Chaser and its companion cargo module, the Shooting Star. Nine years later, Dream Chaser still has not reached space, and as we've recently learned, the deal has been changed. The statement went on to say that Sierra Space will continue providing insight to NASA into the development of Dream Chaser, including through the flight demonstration. NASA will provide minimal support through the remainder of the development and the flight demonstration. As part of the modification, NASA is no longer obligated for a specific number of resupply missions. However, the agency may order Dream Chaser resupply flights to the space station from Sierra Space following a successful free flight as part of its current contract. But as we all know, the timeline for possible Dream Chaser ISS missions is getting a bit tight, considering that the orbiting lab is scheduled to deorbit in 2030, which will be here before we know it. However, NASA is encouraging the development of commercial stations in low Earth orbit to fill the void left by ISS, and it's possible that Dream Chaser could visit one or more of those in the coming years. Which to me kind of sounds like NASA saying, it's okay, Dream Chaser. There are other space stations out there. You'll find somebody. In a different statement released by Sierra Space, they seem to kind of lean into this, saying that there are other potential use cases for Dream Chaser. Company officials did stress that the space plane could still fly a variety of missions down the road, even if it never makes it to ISS. Fatih Ozman, executive chair at Sierra Space, said Dream Chaser represents the future of versatile space transportation and mission flexibility. He went on to say, this transition provides unique capabilities to meet the needs of diverse mission profiles, including emerging and existential threats and national security priorities that align with our acceleration into the defense tech market. Osman added, together with NASA, we are seeking to preserve the exceptional potential of Dream Chaser as a national asset, ensuring its readiness for the next era of space innovation. The space plane is now scheduled to launch its inaugural flight no earlier than late 2026, maybe 2027. And the Dream Chaser vehicle, which is actually called Tenacity, will conduct a free flyer mission rather than docking at ISS for its first launch. And Dream Chaser is not the only thing that Sierra Space is developing. They are one of the primary partners alongside Blue Origin that are developing a commercial space station called Orbital Reef. Sierra Space would use Dream Chaser as a method of cargo transport and 
also provide its inflatable life, large, integrated, flexible environment, habitat modules. And the orbital reef kind of gives me ISS vibes. Like the layout is vaguely similar, but it just looks a lot more modern. And one of the selling points for orbital reef is that it is designed as a stopping point for tourists. Unlike ISS, which only allowed space tourists super recently, you don't have to be a full-fledged astronaut to go to this space station. It was designed with welcoming space tourists in mind. Back in April of 2025, NASA said that Orbital Reef completed human in the loop testing, demonstrating some daily operations inside a mock-up of the commercial space station. And it will reportedly be designed to accept docking from almost every operational spacecraft, from SpaceX Dragon to Soyuz to Starliner to Dream Chaser. So that brings us back to Dream Chaser. Will it really fly? I think so. But it doesn't seem like it's going to fly as a resupply ship for NASA. Instead, Dream Chaser is kind of doing its own thing right now. Like the free flying demonstration is more for them than for NASA at this point. And maybe that's okay. All of this is very tricky. There is such a slew of new rockets, space stations, spacecraft being developed right now, and they're all kind of doing their own thing, yet they're all reliant on each other, and there are these tight timelines, and it's a lot. Space is in such a crazy industrial age right now, and so much is about to change, and so much has changed in the last 10 to 15 years. It's kind of breathtaking to even keep up with it. I'm tired just talking about it. I can't even imagine all the work that these men and women at these companies are doing right now. And not everything is gonna develop in the same exact timeline or even predicted timelines. And maybe sometimes that's okay. Dream Chaser needs more time. And if Sierra Space has the means to give it more time, great. See you on the other side, Dream Chaser. But for now, SpaceX's Dragon and Northrop Grumman's Cygnus are kind of covering the robotic resupply missions to the ISS for NASA, and that seems to be working. So while I see that it's not the ideal outcome that Sierra Space wanted, and you know, publicity-wise, I think it's gonna be okay. I was actually talking about this in the comments section with somebody about what all of us really want is these vehicles that can get astronauts to and from the space station in the absolute safest manner possible. We all get that nothing is 100%, but we learned super hard lessons from Challenger and Columbia and even Starliner, right? I think discretion is the better part of valor, so if we get our space plane but we get there in a different way, I'm all right with it. But I definitely do want a space plane. I miss the look of those space shuttles and tenacity is super adorable looking in its retro kind of way. So I wish Sierra Space nothing but the best in getting there. But what do you guys think? Dream Chaser is dead in the water. She'll fly, but on her own timeline when she's ready. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching guys. And as always, I will see you in the next video.